we do it, do it, do it. Do it. Me and you will never get along. Get the fuck up on my face, you need to move on. Alright. Hey, well, baby, I'm okay. I can tell we wouldn't mesh by the words that you say. Multiple right. bank account holder. Non business disclosure. Frequent rodeo, but it's not my first rodeo. I roll mostly roller coasters. Wild rides with ups and downs. I can't do it over. Save myself. Wise man, life explains itself. Left the nest ahead to raise myself. Got a mission and cause. Don't do the same thing. Expecting different results. Can't listen to y'all. Weapons wiser. Red flag recognizer. Kept it solid. No human tape recorder. Kept it silent. Blessed with knowledge from the extra mileage. Game spit a third eye hiller. Make you recognize it. Control my health more. Know myself more. I still indulge in Zannies as such. Also ask a wander. So don't get your panties in a bunch. Life's a challenge. My advice is balanced. Like a challenge, results may be quite astounding. My sound nostalgic. Show you how to wear it well. I'm a stylist. I know life and know what I know. Bad vibes, sister. I gotta go. Get from round to hits from round shit. I deserve royalty. So with my royalties, I should get a pile of chips and salad. With a we volcanic mountain. At a distance, different surrounding, cause chill need different around them. More cheers and toast and less moments of silence. Speak the truth and that's the moment you silence. Constant chaser of money, can't take nothing from me. My Audemars is money, no AP. Life like AP, shit can get ugly. Call of y'all some dummies, life can be a trip. It's like falling off of something. Shut you down early, call them all on Sunday. I do an awesome job, not calling y'all for nothing. Self reliant, how I function. Depending on my independence, slightly reptilian Blending in the villain, Sicilian bitch Inhabit to inherit new traditions Preparing food in kitchens Every day I eat good for my brilliant decisions Every night I sleep good cause I complete a mission All my women tell me I got too many bitches Malik, you look suspicious You crave for my attention So now you're about to get it I tried to be dismissive But you was too relentless To me the shit ridiculous Ain't no pussy where my dick is Nigga, I'm a nigga Worry about the bitches Or worry about Corona Go suck a thumb and Kona Ain't no trick in me Even if a nigga didn't speak I reek with sending me through energy I squinch by the pinch to see Facial display of disbelief I reek with sending me through energy I squint by the pinch to see Facial display of disbelief Me and you will never get along Get the fuck up out my face, you need to move on Alright, hey, well baby I'm okay I can tell we wouldn't mesh by the words that you say Alright Shout out to Tony and the Tony Toss Podcast slash Showcase. This is Real Spill with Real Chill. I don't know if y'all realize that I be trying to spice it up a little bit every time. It may all sound the same. It may, it may all sound the same. But I feel like it's a little different. But um, what's up? What's up? I was out last week. I had a little injury. Well, not a little. I'm not going to minimize it. It was a big injury. I got into an accident, fractured my knee, ended up having to get immediate surgery in the hospital. So that set me down for a while. But it's it's good to sit down sometimes and, you know, be in solitude and, you know, you're able to gather your thoughts, you're able to think about things, especially, I can't walk, I gotta learn to walk again, I'm taking therapy, so especially when you can't really walk and you're dependent on other people, I'm saying that to say this, because it's not really about me, it's about me helping somebody, I'm saying that to say, it's good to have gratitude, don't ever forget your blessings, man. Because I have to depend on people. And I probably won't be walking. I'm learning to walk again. I probably won't be walking for another two to three months. But while I'm depending on people, I just, you know, it had gave me time to think of 
the things that I am thankful of and the things that I should have been thankful of. I was thankful. I should have been thankful and show gratitude every day just to step out my bed every day, just to be able to walk to the store. So you should be thankful to be able to walk to the store, walk to your car, walk to catch the bus, walk to catch the subway, walk to catch the light rail, jog, work out. The simple things that we take for granted is not something that we should take for granted. It's not small, but you probably think of it like that because you're just so used to having it. But, you know, some people, you know, I'm and I'm also thinking how blessed I am because I am going to be able to walk again. There's some people that just got told they they're not going to be able to walk again. There's some people that just got told that they got to get their legs amputated. You know, so that's that's a scary thing, man. So I just had to be thankful. You know, I, I, I'm i not the type to get depressed. I'm the type to see the good and the bad. So and I believe nothing happens to you. Everything happens for you, which I heard from Jay-Z in the Kevin Hart interview. You know, I'd be like, and I say where I get shit from. So they're like, y'all heard it's there. You, you didn't come up with that. You know and I'm saying we all are using something that we heard somewhere, but. Unless you just came up with something by yourself. I'm not saying that's impossible, but they say nothing's new under the sun. You could have came up with your own way to say it, but it was probably said a different way. But if you came up with your own way to say it, then you did come up with your own thing. Don't, don't misunderstand me. But yeah, man, it's good to have gratitude. So just think of the simple things, man, that you you able to do every day. You know, I, I got I lost access to my right leg at the moment by fracturing my knee, my right knee. But I still have my arms. And if I was to lose function of one of my arms, then I would be, you know, feeling the same way. Like, dang, man, I need to be more thankful of me having the use of my arms. You know, I ain't trying to get all sentimental, but these things are really important. And you don't really know what you got until it's gone, man. Just to be able to do for yourself. Like, even if you're a lazy person and you don't get out of bed too much, you don't do too much every day, but you 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 able to you you have access to these things, man. Be appreciative of it and use it more often. Cause there's somebody that would love to be in your position. You know, we all we all tend to forget that we're blessed. And we all forget the small things that's not small. I hope you get what I'm saying. The small things that's not small, we all tend to forget. It's so, it, it, you, you might not think of it as small. I'm not talking to everybody necessarily, but I think in life, while we live in day to day, we just don't realize little things that are big. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to say that. And today I wanted to talk about, I wanted to start doing these little fun facts, right? I wanted to, um, I want to include, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do it, so I probably shouldn't really talk about it, but I am going to talk about it. I probably, I'm, I'm thinking of doing like every week a fun fact, like something that if I, it's something that if I say on here and you didn't know it, you'd be like, oh, I never do that. That was cool. That was cool. So I got a couple of them, a few of them, more than a few actually, list of them. Uh, psychological facts about human behavior. And I thought they was interesting. There's a lot of interesting ones on here. Some I knew, some a lot that I didn't know. All right, so, and I want to talk about, I want to say something about communication also. Um, We're going to get into the psychological facts about human behavior first. And I'm about to go down a list. Okay. The harder you work for something... The harder you work for something, the greater you will feel when you achieve it. The harder you work for something, the greater you will feel when you achieve it. And that's something I knew, but I probably tend to forget here and there. But that's true, man, because when somebody give you stuff, you tend to not appreciate it as much. But when you work hard for it, you value it more. So if you if you are somebody that had the privilege to be given things you know, then you probably don't appreciate it like that. Like, I know it's been times in my life 
where I was given money and stuff and didn't really appreciate it because I didn't work for it. But the money that I worked for, I appreciate it more and I act as I do appreciate it more. Okay, next. Men and women who listen to similar music tend to be better communicators and have long lasting relationships. Men and women who listen to similar music tend to be better communicators and have long lasting relationships. That's interesting. I didn't know that. When a person puts their hands in their pockets, it usually is a sign of low confidence. It says when a person puts their hands in their pockets, it's usually a sign of low confidence. It says usually, so that's not like a a, a hard fact, but usually, you know, I know I put my hand in my pockets and I don't feel I'll be have low confidence. I mean, it's times in life when my confidence is lower than certain periods in certain periods of my life. My con- my confidence is lower than other times, you know, confidence is something you also got to always work on, you know, and you do that by setting goals and getting them done, you know, and you know, move it towards your sole purpose. Um, confidence is good to have. So you just want to always make sure that you have that ultimate confidence, that supreme confidence. That's something you want to work on. Have that glow about yourself, you know. The smarter a person is, the faster he thinks and the sloppier his handwriting is. I never knew that, that the smartest per- the that the smarter a person is, the faster he thinks and the sloppier his handwriting is. I think I got pretty neat handwriting, so I might not be that smart, huh? My handwriting could be sloppier from Russian, though. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Go where you are appreciated, not tolerated. Your confidence, health, and life will be much better better i believe that i believe that if you go where you are appreciated and not tolerated your confidence health and life will be much better because you it's just a better environment you know it's just a better environment to be in it's not like a stressful environment stress could kill you you know you want to be around people who happy you're there that appreciate your presence that you love, that love you, that you care for, that care about you. You don't want to be around nobody that's haters and that's going to talk about you, talk down on you. You know, that's, come on, like, it's not nothing for me to really explain. It, it, it's common sense. Okay. Do things that scare you. It will make you happier. I said do things that scare you. It will make you happier. That's easier said than done, you know. But they say the, the way to get over fear is just to, just, just to do it. And once you get past it, man, you'll be looking back like, damn, what was I afraid of? Or damn, I'm happy I did that. So make sure you do things that scare you if you want to be happy. I sound fucked up. <laughs> do things that, I sound like a bad friend. Do things that scare you if you want to be happier. All right. <laughs> Before, if if I didn't hear this and somebody told me, their friend told them that, I'd be like, yeah, you need to get the fuck away from them. All right, next. The most important source of a child's happiness is family and close friends. The most important source of a child's happiness is family and close friends. They say that for a child. I think that's also an important source for an adult's happiness. I think that's most the uh, uh, important source for your animal's happiness, your dog, your cat. I don't know, but I, who am I? I'm not no scientist. It's just that I, I'm just going off of my wisdom of living life and being on this earth as long as I've been on this earth, even though I'm still young. I've been through some shit. I've seen some shit. And I'm qualified to speak on some shit. All right. Okay. Let's go. Maturity is when you keep your mouth shut when you want to say something mean to someone. Only people at P 
peace with themselves can do this. I like saying it twice so you can really get the feel feel of it. Maturity is when you keep your mouth shut when you want to say something mean. Only people at peace with themselves can do this. I feel like I'm good at uh, keeping my mouth shut when I want to say something mean. Plus, I'm just not a negative person, so I'm not looking for something mean to say. And if I feel like I, if I feel like I'm going to be rude or mean, I just won't be around those people that make me feel like that. I go, like I, I choose to be where where I'm celebrating. I tolerate it. But if you like have a job and you're working like the average people, you know, even me, you know what I'm saying like when you at work, you really can't, you know, control who you're around because your coworkers is your coworkers. Unless you work for yourself, you got your own business, you can fire people, whatever. But um, I would say this: your happiness is more important than anything. So if you got a job that pays good, it's you got to decide what's more important to you, your happiness or your your peace, your happiness or the money. You know what I'm saying? Like if you like the money more and you like to be stressed out, then stay there. But me, my happiness is more important because stress could kill you. I'm not going to die being for money. You know what I'm saying? Some people will, I guess. Some people don't mind uh, having a fucked up day as long as they get the money. To me, I think it's backwards, especially because we are human and stress could kill you. <laughs> All right. People can try to keep everyone happy. People who try to keep everyone happy often end up feeling the loneliest. I used to do that, but then I stopped. I pe- it say people who try to keep everyone happy often feel the lonely, lonely, lonely. Yes, and I don't think that's good to do, of course, because you end up driving yourself crazy trying to keep everybody else happy. Because you need to think about your own happiness. Okay, let's go. Our brains often predict what other people are about to say before they say it. Our brains often predict what other people are about to say before they say it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all, you, you, I mean, I I know I have, I can only speak for myself. I know I've had times when I was able to predict what somebody was going to say before they said it. I'm pretty sure you probably have too. So I think that's a a psychological fact. All right, next. Next. When a person dies, they have seven minutes of brain activity left. It's the mind playing back the memories in a dream sequence. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? That's a pretty cool fact. I never knew that. Did you know that? All right. When people are being watched, they behave better. And the illusion of being watched works too when people are being watched they behave better and the illusion of being watched works too I mean we all know that if we're being watched we're gonna try to behave we're gonna behave better if you 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 work and your boss comes in everybody's phony and <laughs> uh putting up a little front trying to be at their best behavior or if you're a child a teenager and you're around your friends then your, the parents come in you're gonna change how you act and so that sounds like it's true to me people who understand sarcasm well are often good at reading people's minds hmm it says people who understand sarcasm well are often good at reading people's minds. That's a good one. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Okay. All right. Next. Money doesn't change who people are. It just amplifies their personality. I've heard that before. 
I heard that. I don't know if it was those exact words, but I heard somebody say money doesn't change people. It just makes them who they really are. So, I mean, we know that to be true because we see people without money. And when they get money, their ego takes uh, takes uh, it just like it just their ego just it they 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 moving off their ego. It, their ego takes over, basically. I mean, we if we ain't see it personally in our personal lives, we've seen it with some type of celebrity, your favorite rapper, or somebody that you watch come up on, you know, any any type of public figure. Okay, next. People who walk fast are usually more confident and happier than those who walk at a slow pace. Hmm. And notice they are real specific with these words. It doesn't say people who walk fast are more confident. It says people who walk fast are usually more confident and happier than those who walk at a slow pace. The key word is usually. You know what I'm saying? So, um... I'm a fast walker. Every time I walk with somebody, be like, yo, slow down. So I hope that means I'm confident. <laughs> or in, in that at that time in my life, hopefully I was confident. That's 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 something I didn't know. That's something that's uh new to me. So I like that. Usually. Usually, keyword. Okay. Travel boosts brain health and also decreases a person's risk of heart attack and depression travel traveling boosts brain health and also decreases a person's risk of heart attack and depression i like that i mean i never knew that but it it, it sounds like it could be true to me and these are facts but i would say traveling is important you know, it's good to get out of the your normal area and go to different areas and don't stay in one radius, a four block radius or, or whatever, because uh, it's so much out there. It's so much to see. I know a lot of people that haven't been nowhere like that. And when you travel, it just it's a it's a good feeling you get with traveling. It's a good feeling of being somewhere else. Like I always tell tell this to people. What I what I love about traveling, the things that uh, you take, I mean, the things that you usually do at home that's not fun because it's home and you're used to it. It could be as simple as you might want to. I don't. Know, it could be catching a bus. Like whenever I go somewhere, I like to catch the bus to just be around the people and just just. It's just me. I like to be around new people and see new things and or just go to the mall somewhere else and go to the downtown areas to try out the foods. It's just fun, man. I say you try for yourself so you can really see the effect that it has on you. But that's what I love about traveling. All right. Next. Intelligent people tend to have less friends than the average person. The smarter the person is, the more selective they become. I believe that because uh, the smarter I got and the wiser I got, the more selective I became with having friends. And Because you just know what you do. You know, people come with a lot of shit sometimes and and you got people who are manipulative. You got people who are, who have bad intentions. You got people who like to lie. You got people who like to steal. You got people who feel entitled. You got people who don't want to do shit and want to just ask for shit. That's the number one thing. People who are lazy and don't want to do shit. And you're just like, I don't feel like dealing with this. I don't feel like figuring this person out. or yeah, Man, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to really get into it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. All right. People who are grateful are likely to be happier. And that's true. And I was talking about being grateful and having um, having gratitude earlier. And and me, you know, injuring myself allowed me to be grateful, which makes me happier. Because I didn't realize the blessings 
that I had because I was just used to it. Next, people who are in love behave similarly to people suffering from mental disorders. People who are in love behave similarly to people suffering from mental disorders. Wow, I didn't know that. Didn't know that one right there. That, that's interesting. All right, let's go on to the next one. If you spend just 10 minutes writing about your worries before your exam, chances are you will get a higher score. I'm going to say that again. If you spend just 10 minutes writing, a, writing about your worries before your exam, chances are you will get a higher score. Anybody that's taking any type of classes, anybody in school, high school, middle school, college, uh, trade school, if you hear this, try that out and let me know. I mean, that's interesting. If I have an exam, which I'm not in school right now, but I am going to be going in a little while, I'm not sure when, but I will test this out and let y'all know what happens. I haven't took an exam in a long time. Okay, next. Women and men solve problems differently. Women have an emotional approach while men take action. Sorry, women. I agree with that. (laughs) We all know women are emotional beings. And men, we move off logic. And if you disagree, we can argue. My... Uh, social media handle is real underscore chills three four six. That's R E A L underscore C H I L L Z three four six. I'll be ready to argue with you, women. And I hope no men come at me talk about this shit. All right. <laughs> Always remember who was there for you when no one else was. That's that's self-explanatory. I ain't gotta expound on that. Always remember who was there for you when no one else was. That's important. I ain't got nothing to say about that. I agree. Everybody has three lives. A public life, a private life, and a secret life. Everybody has three lives. A public life, a private life, and a secret life. All right, next. You get more creative when you're tired. I'm a, I, I like that one. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't necessarily like it, but that's an interesting one. I, I would have to try that out and see. I might have to write me some music when I'm tired. Usually when I'm tired, I just go to sleep. All right, next. Just because someone doesn't react, it doesn't mean they don't notice. Which is true. I mean, I've seen things and didn't react, but I noticed it. Next. People are social beings who learn better together. I said it says people are social beings who learn better together. That's, I mean, I believe that to be true. I believe that to be true. Because these are facts anyway. All right. People are attracted to others who are similar to themselves. Opposites attract isn't really true at all. I, I believe that though because um birds of a feather birds of a feather flock together. A OG used to uh tell me that all the time. No, a OG told my friend that. And I've heard it before, but an OG told my friend that and he told me. And that's true, you know. And it's but and sometimes it just it just be unfortunate situations because uh, if you're around robbers, you probably rob, or you you probably do. It, you might not necessarily rob because you probably got other uh, similar things, and you probably got other similarities about about each. I mean, y'all probably got other similarities, but um, just because they haven't robbed, don't mean you rob. But you know what I mean. All right. When they see you doing better without them, that's when they want you back. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you have an ex and y'all 
broke up because they are your ex, right? That's why I said ex. So I don't know why I said that. But yeah, you know, they uh, exes always tend to want you back when you're doing better. You know, because when they see you're doing better without, and that's when they want you back. All right. We are most likely to mirror the behaviors of those we are interested in or impressed by. I've done that. I've mirrored people that I was impressed by or interested in, especially when you're coming up and you're very impressionable, you know, and you're free and you're, uh, we tend to do that. We tend to do that. You know, we, we do that. We do that. We, we mirror what we like about people. We see traits that we want in ourselves. So I believe that's true. All right. We can only be close to up to 150 people. I'm going to say that again. We can only be close to up to 150 people. Wow. That's a lot of people. And I do. And and if you look at if you ever go on your Facebook and look how many people, you know, and how many people you actually close to and have a relationship with, you got to count that because. That's that's an interesting uh, statement because uh, I am close to a lot of people and I have like personal relationships with a lot of people. I don't, it might not be 150, but I, now that got me interested in figuring out how many people that I, I'm close to. Because I do, I, you meet a lot of people over the years who you really, you know, get close with and have relationships with, friendships, and you keep in contact with them. So yeah, that's 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 interesting. Um, next, the press people tend to speak with longer pauses and fragmented sentences. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't know that. And the key word is the press people tend. The t- the key word is ten. So they use the word ten. The press people tend to speak with longer pauses and fragmented sentences. So if you speak with pauses and fra- fragmented sentences, that doesn't mean 100% that you're depressed. But depressed people tend to do that. All right. Writing your problems on a piece of paper and tossing it in the garbage lightens you up. That's another one I got to try. I'm going to do that and see how I feel afterwards. I haven't tried that. I like that one. Next. Most drivers think they are better than average drivers. Hmm. I can say that about myself. And everybody that I know that drives will probably say that about themselves. So, eh, eh. Sounds about right. All right. If you're struggling, that means you're progressing. If you're struggling, that means you're progressing. Hmm. Like that. So if you're struggling, don't feel bad. You should feel, actually feel good because you're progressing. All right. Teachers do not easily admit their faults in front of their students. I know a lot of people like that. They won't admit their faults to not necessarily teachers, but it's just people that just won't admit their faults. And I'm not like that, but shit, a lot of people are. Um, that was all the, uh, the fun facts that I had about... Um, well, psychological facts about human behavior. Now, I want to say something. I was watching the Kardashians. No, I'm not a Kardashian watcher. If I was, I would say it. But I was just on Hulu today, and I was watching Kardashians. I was like, eh, let me watch this. And I noticed one thing about the Kardashian family that keeps them strong and together. I was watching. I'm like, dang, they really have a good communi- family communication. They communicate about everything. It's how they feel. And I just want to say communication is very important. Communication is key. If you don't know what communication is, uh, good communication skills. Communic- well, first of all, communication is talking, being able to sit down, talk about the problems. So it's no misunderstandings, but I'm going to read something because I'm, I got this right here. The importance of communication skills. Good communication skills are essential to allow others and yourself to understand information more accurately and quickly. In contrast, poor communication skills lead to frequent misunderstandings and frustrations. So 
that in itself should make you want to, you know, develop good communication skills. So, you know, that's the better your communication skills are, the better your relationships will be. So just be sure to have good communication to leave no room for misunderstanding, to leave no room for miscommunication. Miscommunication always happens, but the less the better. You know, you got to be able to communicate effectively. It's one of the most important skills to learn in life. You know, communication itself is defined as transferring information to produce greater understanding. All right, y'all. I'm out. Hey, chip. Stops. No sleep in the tank. Crazy tank. No chills. Let's get it. King Matic. King Matic. If you had to step in my shoes, you don't know what you would do. I had to get me a bag. I had to get off my ass. I ain't had no help for my dad. Only the cut looking man. Twin glass bitch body bag. I done ran in her face. If you had to step in my shoes, you don't know what you would do. I had to get me a bag. I had to get off my ass. I ain't no help for my dad. Only the cut looking man. Twin glass bitch body bag. I done ran in her face. Feel like I'm 50, nigga. I feel like that. In 2003. Yeah. All these killers. Uh -huh. They be stuck right around me. Right here, nigga. And my shrek. Yeah. Cause about 4G. Right. Hey. Know that little hey. bitch ain't hey. for hey. me. Hey. When call up when I'm horny. I was just sleeping on my sister's couch, yeah. now racked up in a big house. Yeah. LL Cool family in my house. Yeah. Too bad, never took family route. Yeah. Landscape cut the grass. Yeah. Cause some niggas that snake yeah. rock. Yeah. Give them nothing, he make it out. Then I pay enough nigga to ask him out. Too much pain, the just let it out. Huh? Every day I'm living for my baby. Fuck from wrong, we yeah. like yeah. Nate. Just signed the contract, yeah. and it just said, yeah. fuck you, baby. Fuck you, Only one nigga employ me is the most high, and, and a nigga, nigga crazy. crazy. If you had to step in my shoes, you don't know what you would do. Yeah. I had to get me a bag. Yeah. I had to get off my ass. Yeah. I ain't had no help for my dad. Yeah. Only the cut looking like man. Yeah. Twin glass bitch body bag. Yeah. I done ran in her face. Yeah. If you had to step in my shoes, you don't know what you would do. Yeah. I had to get me a bag. Yeah. I had to get off my ass. Yeah. I ain't no help for my dad. Yeah. Only the cut looking like man. Yeah. Twin glass bitch body bag. Yeah. I done ran in her face. Yeah. I had to get off my ass. Just so I could get on my shit yeah. I remember just that three years Hard took a shit five off from a uh -huh. sister was off for a minute But I fall off a thin with my whole body oh, I refuse to be a nobody Hard discipline and cost me some friends But the money gotta get to it My sad didn't take to get down I'ma switch to it For the check I'ma just do it On a purpose, passion, mission With the thirst to have to get it Taking action, hate distractions Who don't have the vision Work and handle business Worth it in the end I got the same results of my last grind I took mad time But I got a little rest on half time What does that say? I don't have time but the rap rhymes and the cash grind uh -huh. Once block, gets that ball, that's high Money. Put a plan together, strategize It'll all work out like exercise Respect the wise, boss up, fuck nine and five If you had to step in my shoes You don't know what you would do I had to get me a bag I had to get off my ass I ain't had no help for my dad Only the cut like a man Twin glass bitch body bag I done ran in her face If you had to step in my shoes You don't know what you would do I had to get me a bag I had to get off my ass. I ain't no help for my dad. Who ain't a cut looking man? Two glass bitch body bag. I done ran in a fag. J. G. Hey, what up, though? You're tuned in to Tony's Talk. The flyest podcast on the West Coast, homeboy. California. Hey, what up, Tony? Shit, I'm ready, y'all. Baby. It's no back to the money, no stopping. By the call my G's, we about to get a poppin'. Spit that real shit to keep your whole head knocking. CBC told me I got that shit to keep you popping. Tony on the phone, I said, if I'm with it or I'm not. Pull and roll a couple bunch, it's about to be a nod. Walk up in the party like the hardest in the room. Walk up in the party with a bad bitch or two. Step up in the corner, shit, homie, what to do? It's Holly at Jaguali and my G cartoon. Told me Beast, it will be a be a body getting too. Pass me a couple shots so we can walk it all through, shit. Tony stock homie from 21 to 22. We live didn't give to cause we the highest in the room We bout to get into it, baby, bring your friends too Put a panties to the side, I'm about to get into it Ay, so we y'all be trying me Shit, baby, let me know Cause your bitch, she be eyeing me And I'm about to take her home So we y'all be trying me Shit, baby, let me know Cause your bitch, she be eyeing me And I'm about to 
to take her home. I done told y'all, this is Tony's talk. It's your boy Mike, you know the flyest one you know. Thanks for tuning in. We gonna see you next week. And the week after that, and the week after that.